What's up, YouTube? This is Too Raw for TV. So I'm watching some of the early returns from today's uh, Super Tuesday uh, primary voting. Uh, of course, 15 states across the nation. Plus, I believe the, I think it's a territory vote. It's American Samoa. Uh, territory votes today as well. And I'm just amazed and how biased MSNBC is, openly biased. Fox Fox uh, is openly biased as well. Um, but I, that's, I never watched Fox because of how biased they were. But it's amazing to me how biased MSNBC is. Like, they're openly rooting for Nikki Haley. Like, I thought their job is to report the news report the results I'm not used to this you know what I'm saying like that's that's why I, I stopped watching Fox News because of how biased they were toward for the Republicans but MSNBC is ridiculous they're just as bad if not worse and not only are they openly biased for Nikki Haley right I'm also sensing like a well it makes sense with you know Rachel Maddow uh, most of the, the personalities I see on TV are female. There's a definite pro-feminist bend in this uh, on this network and their agenda and their ideology, and they want Nikki Haley to to, to, to basically they want a female representation to offset Donald Trump because they see Donald Trump as a chauvinist, a bore. Uh, they, they see him as everything they hate. And the traditional male it has a lot to do with it as well. Um, in addition to some of the, all the other things, ideologically they hate about Trump and in modern day Republican Party. But the thing that gets me, y'all, is they keep trying to make a case for Nikki Haley to stay in the race. She's not competitive in any of these races so far. When I say competitive, I mean really stand a chance to win any of these primaries. Like, they're lowering the bar so much for her, it's ridiculous. Well, can she crack 40% in any state? So when is that enough in a two-person race to, to, to warrant you staying in? Well, if one of these states she cracks 40%, is that enough? They just call Virginia for Trump. And Rachel Maddow saw like she was going to announce the death of a goddamn uh, a notable person or something. She said, "So depressed." And what you know, the, the reason why I keep bringing up like why they keep making the case for Nikki Haley staying the race, is because I distinctly remember four years ago when the Democrats rigged the process so that Joe Biden can come back and win. And I've said this time and time again, what they did was Joe Biden was a centrist candidate, uh, but the vote was getting split up. The centrist, the centrist vote was getting split up, or, or, or middle, middle center, moderate. Let's say moderate Democratic vote it was being split three ways between Joe Biden, Amy Klobuchar, and uh, what was the other guy, uh, Buttigieg. So for whatever reason, Buttigieg and Klobuchar just dropped out the race, but Elizabeth Warren stayed in, even though I think she only state she actually won. Might have been Massachusetts. I don't even know if she's won Massachusetts or not. But anyway, Warren stayed in because she was a progressive or perceived to be the progressive. So she was splitting the progressive party vote with Bernie Sanders, who won like the first three races, if I'm not mistaken. He won the Iowa caucus. He won, which he narrowly lost four years earlier to Hillary. Remember that? He won New Hampshire easily, and he won Nevada. But then as soon as Joe Biden won South Carolina, all of a sudden Klobuchar and Buttigieg dropped out so Biden could consolidate the middle-centric vote, but Sanders kept splitting the middle, uh, the, pro the progressive left-wing vote, more progressive vote. So that's why Biden was able to win. They rigged it. And then even though Sanders had one contest and was more competitive than that Nikki Haley ever could imagine being, 
They were pressuring Sanders to drop out because they wanted their guy, Biden, to get the nomination and wrap it up. But they keep trying to say, well, Nikki Haley should stay in because there need to be a voice. What about Sanders being a voice for the progressive wing of the party? You didn't want to hear that shit four years ago. That's why MSNBC is full, is, they're full of shit, man. They're full of shit. So anyway, man. By the way, before I end this video. There's a stupid ass Republican named Mark Robinson that has been like, I think he's running for like governor of North Carolina or some shit, some fat idiot, uh, right wing coon ass nigga, right? And he's denying that the Holocaust ever happened, I think, and uh, Hitler was not evil, he was a good guy, and all this stupid shit, man. This is my problem. Where are. The Jewish alliance when it come to these fucking uh, jigaboos, man. You ever notice they get protected? They're the only black motherfuckers in this country to get protected. Carrie Irvin shares a link to a movie and everybody was on his case. Calling him anti-you-know-what. Even though he said nothing. But this dude is saying all this bullshit... And where are they? Why are they attacking him? Think about it. Think about it. Anyway, that's all I got to say about it.